Blocking handmade items is an important part of the knitting and crochet process, particularly if you're looking for a clean and professional finish to your work. Blocking helps even out stitches, define shape, and at the end of the day, it launders your handmade work in the process. If you're brand new to this whole idea of blocking, it might sound a little intimidating. So today we're gonna to walk you through the basics of blocking knit and crochet items. Begin by filling a clean, appropriately sized bowl or basin with tepid water. Tepid water is generally slightly above room temperature, somewhere in the neighborhood of lukewarm. Add your preferred scent of Eucalan Delicate Wash to your blocking bath. Here I'm just using a small splash for my swatches, but if you are looking for a good rule of thumb, a capful is all it takes to block a full-size sweater. If you're concerned about potential color bleeding as your items soak, you'll want to test a swatch of your work that's been knitted or crocheted with the same yarns that will be used in your finished object. And if you're very concerned about bleeding, consider using cold water rather than room temperature or tepid water. Once your blocking bath is ready, place your knit or crochet items in it, submerging them entirely. Let your items soak a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes. Checking your blocking bath after the first 5 or 10 minutes is a good idea to ensure all of it is absorbing water. If part of your project is floating above the water line, you can gently give it a flip or submerge it deeper in the bath. But be very careful handling your wet items. Never agitate your hand knits during the blocking process as it can affect the outcome of your finished work. The main goal of soaking your items in a blocking bath is for all of the fibers to absorb water, which allows the yarn to relax into its finished position once dry, whether that's a crisp edge for seaming a sweater together, defining lace shapes, or allowing a more delicate fiber like linen or silk to bloom. After enough time has passed and you've confirmed your knitting or crochet has absorbed sufficient water, it's time to remove your items from the bath. The great thing about Eucalan Delicate Wash is it's no rinse formula. Not only do you have the opportunity to save water in your laundering process this way, it also saves you from overhandling handmade items while they're in a delicate state. Just like you don't want to agitate hand knits during the bath phase of blocking, you don't want to unevenly handle, wring out, hang, or tumble dry them either. They are more fragile when wet and can be stretched to the point of ruin if you're not careful. Bearing this in mind, the next step in blocking is to carefully remove it from the bath, giving it a gentle squeeze to remove excess water before laying it on a towel. Then you roll your hand knits up in the towel like a burrito and squeeze the towel burrito to gently transfer water from your project into the towel. Rolling your handmade items like this allows the towel to absorb water from your project and avoid potential damage from wringing it out. Finally, unroll your project from the towel. Carefully place it on a clean, flat, and dry surface like a foam blocking mat or an additional towel. Depending on what you're blocking, you'll next want to use rust-proof pins to define your edges without overly stretching the fibers. Some projects may call for more or less aggressive blocking and pinning to finish. The choice for this final step is up to you, the maker. Some items may be fine simply laid flat. Others like lace may benefit from using blocking wires and lots of pins for a very defined finish. Let your blocked items dry completely before removing them from the blocking mat. The amount of time your work will take to dry will depend on a variety of factors, including fiber content, ventilation in your workspace, project gauge, stitch type, and more. As you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison of knit and crochet swatches worked in the same patterns and with the exact same fibers, wet blocking your knitting and crochet makes a big difference, evening out stitches, hiding small errors, and giving your work a professional finish.